KTLA is celebrating AAPI Heritage Month here in Hollywood. The industry is making great strides in increasing Asian representation in film and television, but the work doesn't stop here. KTLA's Kimberly Chang has more on how the next generation of Asian American actresses and filmmakers are striving to keep the momentum going. I'm here because we need your help. Very busy today. Uh, no time to help you. A watershed moment for many Asian Americans. The film Everything Everywhere All at Once, which is centered around an immigrant family, won seven Oscars, including Best Picture. Actress Michelle Yeoh made history as the first Best Actress winner of Asian descent. For every winner that, that from that movie, I, I just popped up, screamed as loud as I could. Singer-songwriter Jane Louis was the voice of Opera Evelyn in the film. What was that moment like for you? I mean, um, I was a, just was really lucky to be a, this tiny contributing part of this enormous undertaking. Don't you want Nick to be happy? I know you're not what Nick needs. <laughs> These last, you know, two to three years of, of this constant, incredible output from Shang-Chi, which is very, you know, uh, um, blockbuster uh, main Hollywood stage, to art house movies, to Netflix shows, to comedians and specials. Rap, 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 rap. Yeah. It's the American way, right? You know about that. Growing up, I, um, I didn't see a lot of Asian faces on TV film. And at this moment right now, it's actually flipping a, a certain narrative in my head. Asian representation in film and television increased in 2022 from the year before, according to the Entertainment Diversity Progress Report by Luminate. Still, of all movies released in 2022, less than 2% centered on Asian stories. It's important to also tell very specific um, stories and, can, you know, Filipino stories, uh, Cambodian stories, Chinese stories. So everyone deserves um, a place around the table. Cambodian French actress Elodie Young stars in the Fox series, The Cleaning Lady. Give me a knife. It was a shock to my system when I got the part and they kind of changed and molded it to my, to, my, to my roots and origin. Her character Tony is also of Cambodian descent. I think it's important that uh, anyone who switch on their TV or go to the go to the, the to watch a movie in the in the in the cinemas, um, I want them to feel connected to what they're, they're they're watching. I hope that it just keeps expanding and that our stories keep expanding. Filmmaker Kaylee So has been pushing toward that goal. <laughs> She co-founded the Cambodian Town Film Festival with Proch Lee in 2013. And there wasn't very many representation of Cambodians in film and cinema at that time. So there was nothing kind of like to look at as reference to the history or what it means to be Cambodian or to see yourself reflected on screen in that way. The, the growth of films being made about Cambodia and being made by Cambodians have increased exponentially over the last decade. And you could see it that progress leads to optimism. People are starting to see that like the Asian stories are universal and that like there's a big audience for it. I'm hopeful that you know everything is going to be balanced at some point. We are doing funny movies instead of just kung fu movies. We are leading men and women and we are headliners, you know, uh, uh, on tours. Kimberly Chang, KTLA 5 News. For more stories like this, be sure to tune in to our KTLA 5 News special celebration of AAPI heritage in Southern California. Join Frank Buckley and Cher Calvin as they share stories of Asian American and Pacific Islanders who are blazing the trails for future generations. That airs tomorrow, Friday, May 19th at 7 p.m. and then again Saturday, May 20th at 11 a.m. right here on KTLA 5.